Hello friends, this video on Hello Alkanes and Hello Arenes part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we'll try to prepare again Hello Alkanes using free radical halogenation. In this case, free radical will be the one which will be playing major role. So let's see this reaction. I have, let's suppose, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. Let me add more. This compound I have. See, in this can, if I add chlorine in the presence of light, what will happen is one of the chlorine will replace one of the hydrogen. Any any hydrogen can replace actually. So you can get any product actually. You can replace this hydrogen, this hydrogen, this hydrogen. These are all the same. So I can have three products here: CS3, CS2, CS2. CH2, CH2, CN. This is one product where it has replaced this chlorine plus or it can replace this chlorine CH, CN, CH3 or it can replace this chlorine. Right? So it can replace any of these chlorine. So any of the product can be any product. Just this chlorine will replace any of the chlorine. So the way it works is this chlorine will break into chlorine free radical and this chlorine free radical will kick out one hydrogen free radical and form this compound. Also addition of HBr we have seen this is also free radical halogenation reaction but if for example I have CH3 um, CH double bond CH2. So in this case if you add HBr right so in presence of peroxide now. So we have seen this in class 11 in presence of peroxide. This goes for uh, free radical halogenation reaction because peroxide, it forms BR free radical and it goes for anti marconic approval. Right? And in this case, the product will be CH2, CH2BR because the bromine gets added here instead of here. Correct? Why? Because the free radical reaction. So this is also one example where the free radical uh, reaction you are getting haloalkane. Right? This is from alkenes actually. Correct? And that was from normal alkane. You have a chlorine in the presence of sunlight. You just add it. So chlorine will replace some of the hydrogen and form compound. Let's take an example. The question says identify all the possible monochlorostructural isomers expected to be formed from free radical monochlorination of this. This is my compound. So the question is, I have to add a chlorine. I mean, this has all hydrogen actually. You can add hydrogen if you want. So chlorine will replace one of the hydrogens. Where are the possible options? It can replace this hydrogen. 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 But if you see, if you can if, if replace this hydrogen, or this hydrogen, the one with four dots, all same, right? That means there are only four possible options. Either this, 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 or any of these because they are all same. I mean, if you get the same product, right? If you replace this, uh, one of the hydrogen in this carbon or this carbon. So I'll replace in one carbon with one dot. What you'll get is this, car this compound. And then I'll do with the two dots. I think it is this compound. Then I'll do with three dots. What do you get in this compound? And then with four dots, any of these. Let me add extra hydrogen. Hydrogen here, CH3 here. This is what you get CH3. You can add hydrogen. So these are the four compounds which you'll get. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.